chapter 45, verses 10 and 11. I thank God for this opportunity. The word of God is blessed. Genesis chapter 45, verses 10 and 11. I read in his hearing. And thou shalt dwell in the land of Goshen. Somebody say Goshen. Goshen. Thou shalt be near unto me, thou and thy children, and thy children's children, and thy flocks, and thy herds, and all that thou hast. Verse 11, and there will I nourish thee, for yet there are five years of famine. I want to stop right there. I want to preach from the subject, devotion, anointing. Look at your neighbor, glory to God, and tell them the Goshen anointing. Amen. The scripture that we have right here. Amen. It's Joseph talking to his brothers. Joseph, you will recall, had prophesied that there would be seven years of great plenty. But after the seven years of great plenty, it would be followed by seven years of grievous famine. Have I got a church in here today? Famine means, glory to God, it was a scarcity of food. Amen. There was crop failure. And one thing leads to another. Amen. It leads to malnutrition. It leads to starvation and epidemics of sickness and disease. By the time we get to our text, amen, they have already been in the famine for two years. Somebody say two years. By this time, Joseph has been elevated to governor over Egypt. And he invites his brothers and his father to this place called Goshen. Somebody say Goshen. The land of Goshen was located in Egypt. Uh, what is significant about this, amen, and what shows the glory of God is that Egypt, all of Egypt was in a famine, but God had a place prepared. In other words, while there was malnutrition in Egypt, there was produce growing in Goshen. While there was death in Egypt, there was a life in Goshen. Have I got a church in here today? While it was dark in Egypt, there was life in And I begin to compare Egypt to the world uh, that we're living in today. 